All right, you guys, so I have an amazing bins haul to share with you and all I can say right now is that I definitely got my redemption from the last time. So if you are curious to see what I got to make it the best bins day I've ever had, keep on watching. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and I've actually been making quite a few Facebook marketplace sales lately, but this is Friday and it's time for a thrift haul. So like I said in the intro, I have a bins haul to share with you. It's by far, like far and away, the best bins haul I've ever had in my six years of reselling. So. We're gonna get right into it. Um, I spent $46.40 and just from these four items alone, the retail is about $1,500 and I should make between four and $500 between all four of them when they sell, one of which has already sold. Um, so I spent $46.40, like I said, and the one item that's already sold from these four sold for $133. So basically I three times my money already roughly um yeah so basically everything else is profit so if you watch my last bins haul when i went for july i went with my friend jess and at one point i found a pair of carhartt double knee pants uh, and they had paint splatter on them and i hesitated on them a little bit because they did have quite a bit of wear in addition to the paint which i know the paint can still sell um but i ended up tossing them back and as soon as i did some young kid um, came swooped them and he was so excited that I left them so I had said in that video that maybe it's just good karma for the next time or a future thrift trip and yeah definitely got my redemption and then some so I'm gonna show you the good pieces first um, because I'm not gonna make you wait for the whole video my cost of goods I calculated it for everything that I got it's a dollar and 16 cents per item so yeah pretty good um we're gonna start with the very first bin that i looked at when we walked into the bins we got there i went with my friend jess again um and we got there right at seven o'clock when they opened so we hit the fresh bins that were new and it was a good one i picked a good one um so i'm first gonna show you the second item that i picked up in the bins I'm gonna show you the first item that I picked up after, but this is the one that sold. Um, so this is Johnny Was. Never thought that I would find Johnny Was in the New Hampshire bins of all places. It's kind of, you know, more like country style fashion. So a lot of L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, that kind of thing. Yeah, never thought I would see this. Um, so this is the second item that I picked up from the bins. And this is called the, I think it's the Runswick Laura tunic. It's a great size. It's a plus size 2X. And the retail on this, I think is 365. Um, so it's a great size, purple, heavily embroidered. I think it's got like horses on it. Yeah, there's definitely horses there on it. And I listed this at 150 and I took an offer from a buyer on eBay of 130 three dollars so already in the profit like i said and this pretty number is going out tomorrow now let's talk about the first item that i found in this bin it's also johnny was this is johnny was jade i've never found this before i've only found johnny was like three times three or four times um and this is also another plus size this is 3x there's the johnny was jade tag and this is the stargazer dress it's absolutely stunning i love it if it was maybe a size medium i might consider keeping it for myself but i also like money um, but it's got like a paisley pattern and then it's got gold embroidered moons and stars and i think it is amazing this one i listed a little bit higher because it is 100 percent silk um, and this one i listed i think 175 and it does have quite a few watchers on it um, pretty much immediately when I listed them, I had eight watchers on the purple one that sold and I have, I think five watchers, um, on this one on eBay. I listed them on Poshmark as well. Um, 
speaking of some of the stuff is listed some isn't because I've been definitely slacking so the things that are listed you guys will see on the screen um, the retail on that stargazer dress is I think four ninety five, so right about five hundred dollars and so is this next piece which is the third and final item that I grabbed out of this one bin the first bin that I laid my hands on first thing in the morning so it was a really good bin and I was so excited I found this first one the stargazer one and I showed my friend Jess who was in like a bin or two down from me and I showed her the label and she said oh my god and so I put it in my cart and I was trying to take a photo of the label to post to my Instagram story and she looked over at me from down the aisle and she said stop taking photos and find its mate and I'm like there's no way that I'm gonna find another one I was amazed that I found the first one but sure enough she was right and I put my phone down and dug a little bit more and found the purple one so thank you Jess for bringing me back to earth <laughs> and making me look for another one sadly there was not a third one but there was this in that same bin and this is a hidden gem so this is B yellowtail and Faraday Faraday I've picked up a few times for men uh, they do have women's pieces as well of course um, but usually I find the men's pieces and they always sell lightning fast B yellowtail I looked up and it is uh, she is an indigenous artist slash designer um, which I think is really cool this is a size extra large this thing retails for four hundred and ninety eight dollars and it's beautiful I might also steal this if it was a smaller size but I, I think it's absolutely stunning it's like a rainbow crochet hoodie and I saw this in the bin like as soon as I got over to that area and I just thought to myself well I could only see like a little bit of the pattern um so I kind of just assumed it was maybe just a handmade piece you know someone just crocheted it together um but yeah no it's yellow bee yellowtail and fairy so this should fetch a pretty high price as well I think I also listed this around 175 ish kind of like the stargazer dress because I did see some comps that were well over a hundred dollars for this pre-owned so yeah um those are the only three pieces I pulled out of that first bin and then later in the day we stayed about five hours or so like seven to noon maybe a little afternoon um and then there were a lot of dresses I don't know who donated a bunch of dresses um, but there were so many of them a lot of plus size brands um, and then there was this one that I scooped up I also gave a few dresses to uh, my friend Jess who had drove us up there because I don't really have the space to photograph dresses so unless I can find a stock photo um, like in advance before I take it home I sometimes will leave it behind because if I can find a stock photo then at least I can use that on Poshmark and make it look a little bit better um, because just putting it on my floor where I photograph stuff is it's not exactly the most flattering so this one is free people and I did check the OB number before I decided to pick it up this is an extra small and I found the stock photo so this color is discontinued they do still have this dress it's called the rare feelings dress um, they do still have this on the free people website but it's no longer sold in the black combo color which is what this is and I'm definitely not going to do it any justice because it's a very big maxi dress but you guys will be seeing the photo because this one is listed and this one the retail is uh, 148 something like that so definitely the lowest retail out of the four pieces but combined I should hopefully take home about four to five hundred dollars and that's amazing in my opinion for a binge trip where I spent forty six dollars all right so let's get into some less exciting stuff um, I do have some clothes I have a few pairs of shoes and a little bit of hard goods nothing as exciting as those though all right so this is columbia uh, this is a men's large i don't pick up this brand too often but this is a pfg it's like performance fishing gear or something along those lines it's upf 30 plus according to this sleeve i know it's kind of you know not really the season for it anymore but i figured i'd pick it up anyways and it does say pfg here on the back these usually do okay for me maybe 25 dollars or so 
I do have a couple pieces that I picked up with the intention of giving them to my daughter, but she decided she didn't want them. Uh, so this is one of those pieces. This is from Solitaire Swim, size small. I have seen Solitaire a few times, but never actually grabbed it. It's just like a crochet lace, like swim cover up. I thought it was really cute. She's not into it, which is totally fine. I will just list it. Same thing with this, I think it's Forever 21. Yeah, Forever 21 dress. This is not something that I normally will pick up, but I, like I said, I picked it up with the hope that maybe she would like it. It's a little high neck lace overlay mini dress. Nothing crazy special, maybe 10 to $12. I also found a couple good pairs of jeans. This is the first pair. Um, these are Levi's premium denim, but they are the 501. If you're not new here, you guys know by now that I pick up three styles from Levi's, the 501, the rib cage, and the wedgie. I don't often stray from those unless it's like new with tags or the price is really good and the style is good. Um, these, I did look them up to find like the wash and they don't have a raw hem. So I don't know if someone did this themselves. Um, but they did a good job if it was a handmade thing and these are size 28 <clears throat> All right next we have an Athleta piece. This is a size extra small found quite a few pieces from Athleta on this day This one's from spring of 2019 It's not listed so I haven't looked it up yet. It's definitely a little bit pilled But that's okay um, it's that modal material, which I personally like. And if I can get it to show you, it's like an open front black cardigan. Nothing crazy, crazy special. Um, I picked up a loungewear set from Victoria's Secret. Most of you guys probably know what the label looks like, but here it is. It's a size medium. I thought I was going to wear it, but I don't really wear pajamas. I just will sleep in a t-shirt um but it's a little tank top it's i think cheetah print not leopard print i couldn't find a stock photo though and then it comes with the pants same size they're like a wide leg and they also have like this weird mustardy color lace trim not expecting too much on those either this is the first time i've picked up this brand but i figured i'd try it out from the bins this is packed it is a sustainable company these are organic cotton, and I believe they are men's. They're a men's XL. Green jogger pant. They're very soft and comfy. Another Victoria's Secret item. This is Victoria's Secret Sport, I believe. It's a size 34B, and this is like a zip front sports bra. Pretty basic. Black, people need sports bras. And I think this is the last item that I intended for my daughter to have, but she didn't want them airy size small. The bins is the only place I will pick up airy. It just, it never moves for enough money to warrant picking it up at my local thrift store prices. Um, but these are just like some terry cloth shorts with the little like lace up in the front. That's why she didn't like them. She didn't like the lace up part in the front. All right, so I did find one piece of Lululemon. It does not have a size, but it's a top, so that's okay. Um, so it's gone from here. This is definitely one of the Swiftly shirts. I've sold quite a few of these. You can see the little ohm symbol logo on the front, and the symbol on the back is a little bit worn, like the little logo. And usually the Swiftlies will have the size inside the bottom hem, but I couldn't find it. It does have words down here, um, but I don't see the size. I do, however, see right next to the logo is a little tiny circle that looks like that's where a size dot would have been, um, but it is no longer there. So I will just measure. Um, and then I also found two pieces of Icebreaker in the same bin. I love picking up this brand. It always moves really quick. Um, they're both merino wool. Um, Icebreaker is made in New Zealand, so it's New Zealand merino. And size small woman's. Here is the logo. And this one is just a black 
short sleeve tee. Just a nice little base layer. Um, and this one's a little bit thicker, though it's hard to read the label. Uh, it's also a women's small New Zealand merino. But as you can see, this one's a little worse for wear. I did check them over for holes, though I have sold Icebreaker and Smart Wool um, all without, all with, hello? Okay, <laughs> I have sold them all with holes before. They will still sell. So this one's just like a little quarter zip pullover. Also black, I assume they came from the same person. Okay, I think this brand is technically on my brands that I broke up with in February of this year. Um, but I think I might keep them for myself, so don't come for me. Um, this is Wild Fox. It used to do pretty well for me. Um, not like a super high resale amount, but it just used to move pretty quick for me, and that hasn't been the case for like two years. But these are a size large, and these are a like ombre kind of tie-dye jogger. I did get two Lululemon bags. I get these almost every time I go to the bins. And these are the biggest ones I think I've ever gotten. They're both the same. So I will include those with someone's Poshmark um, Lululemon purchase. This is the other pair of jeans. It's another sustainable company. This is Everlane and these are the 90s Cheeky Jean. These are organic cotton, size 28. Here's the label. Love this style. This style usually does pretty well for me, though Everlane has definitely fallen off a little bit for me. All right, here's another good brand that I haven't found in maybe three years. Uh, this is Arcteryx. It's an outdoor gear brand similar to like a Patagonia. This is a woman's large. And this is a, a V-neck short sleeve tee. The fabric tag has been removed. It's probably some kind of maybe like a wool blend. All right, this is a mall brand something I only pick up at the bins or if it's a pair of denim and they are from the Curve Love line. So if you know what makes Curve Love, then you probably know that I'm about to say Abercrombie & Fitch. This is a size extra small. And it's like a slightly cropped corduroy hoodie. This is a brand that I've never picked up before and it is unfortunately a little bit flawed uh, so I had to reduce the price a little bit um, they had a lot of pieces from this brand a few dresses and I think Jess ended up taking home a few of them as well to try out um, this is a size 16 18 from Ula Popkin um, and this is a tunic blouse tunic top I think it's called the Sophia and the retail on this I think it was like $69.95 or something like that. So I really thought the pattern was pretty and colorful, um, but there are unfortunately a couple of really small pinholes in the front bottom hem. So I just noted that in the listing. All right, just a couple more clothing items. This one, um, this is another dress. And I took this home because I knew I could find the stock photo because it's from J. Crew. This is a size six and it is Cupro material. So it kind of feels silky and it's a green, like midi length uh, slip dress. Slip dresses are very popular right now. Um, so I don't think I'll have a problem, problem moving that though. I don't typically pick up too much J. Crew. This I probably should have left because it's the burnout material, which A, isn't really popular anymore and B is just you can just tell it's definitely been worn a lot um, but this is Lucky Brand and Journey it's a size extra large men's Journey the band I will pick up Lucky Brand when it's a band T collab or like the Indian motorcycles I just sold an Indian and um, Lucky Brand thermal top that I got from the bins a couple times ago and I think this is the last clothing item and I found a bunch like a bunch of vintage kids clothes 
and I had put a bunch of them in my cart, but most of them were stained, and so I left them. But I did pick up this one because it's so adorable. This is a single stitch tee for a little baby. It's a size two and a Hanes 50-50 tag. It's got little fish on it. It's so adorable, I couldn't leave it. But yeah, it, it is single stitch. Okay, clearly I've been talking too much during this haul because I just had a coughing fit and had to step off camera for a few. Um, so if I look like I've been crying, that's why. Anyway, let's move on to the shoes. I got three pairs of shoes on this day. The first pair is a pair of Birkenstocks. There were a ton of Birkenstocks at the bins this day. Um, I think Jess went home with like two or three pairs. Um, some of them were really bad and I had to leave them unfortunately um, but usually I will still pick them up if they're in not the best condition because they will still sell um, so I grabbed these as you can see they definitely have footprints in them and I need to clean up like the buckles the buckles are a little a little grody um, so I have to take care of that but these are a size 40 yeah these are a size 40 I don't know what style this is I don't think I've ever sold the single strap ones and then I also got a pair of Hoka's. These are the Speed Goat 2, and they're women's eight and a half. I originally thought maybe I could fit them and then I could use them as like my yard sneakers because um, they're definitely not in the best shape. I've sold way worse, but uh, yeah, as you can see, like right here, it's definitely got some wear. Um, but these are a hiking one, um, so they have a little bit of a thicker tread on the bottom vibram soles but yeah speed goat 2 size eight and a half and then the third pair i got is a pair of vibram um, five finger shoes i used to have a pair of these back when i did obstacle course races um, and i wore them for a while these are men's size 42 i think is it's a us nine to nine and a half in men's and i think the name is like the kso classic but they're in pretty good shape aside from there's somewhere here on the velcro velcro strap all right now we basically have hard goods and then that's it so the first hard good i have is from outdoor research i've only found this brand now this is the third time i sold the other two fairly quickly um one was a set of masks that i got at the bins actually um and the other one was a top and that one sold pretty quick for a decent amount these are kids mittens they're called the adrenaline mitts and they're a size small so i figured perfect timing because winter is approaching okay and then i found this this is the beaver from Bucky's. We don't have Bucky's up here, but um, Chris, if you're watching this, here you go. Um, I originally thought this was a puppet, but there are no holes. Oh, I guess there's a little one. There's one, there's not one for the other arm. But I originally thought this was just a puppet, but most of the people that I saw that sold this on eBay listed this as a golf club cover. Um, so that's what I'm gonna list it at, maybe $15 or so. I just thought he was really cute and he's in perfect condition i did step out upside the box a little bit and i picked up a couple boxes of vintage swing line staples there's three of them i'm just going to lift them all together um they're probably not going to go for a lot but that's okay i like to try new stuff at the bins i also picked up this stanley floor guide which is going to probably get me like seven to eight dollars nothing crazy but i'm paying a dollar 16 per item and like I said, I like to try new stuff. I also got this How to Train Your Dragon Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. It's not new, it does have some damage to the box, um, but the comps on this look pretty decent. I can maybe get 25, 30 for him, even though he's not new. The weird thing about this though, is that he's blue. If you've seen How to Train Your Dragon, Toothless is black, not blue. So I don't know what happened here. Maybe that's why I can get maybe $25 to $30 for him. I don't know. Um, this is going to my antique booth. This is just like a macrame plant hanger. It's green, green cord, maybe eight bucks. Nothing super crazy. I did get a baseball mitt for the first time. 
I have never sold these before, so I have no idea, but the comps looked okay. It's Rawlings brand. Um, it has like the serial number or a style number, whatever you want to call it. So you just look that up. It's an 11 and a half inch and it's for a left hand throw. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that does. I do pick up blank media at the bins. Um, media is 50 cents a pound at the New Hampshire bins. So these are just an open box. Everything is still in here. It's a set of 10 CDRs. So um, like recordable CDs. I got myself a little green mug from REI. Um, like it, it's made from Stanley. So it's in pretty good condition inside and out. It doesn't really look like it was ever used. If it was, it was only used a couple times, but that's staying here. I have a couple plush and then that's it. Um, oh, and I have this DVD. I got Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back for myself. And now I just have plushies. <laughs> um, so first we have Opus. Let me know in the comments if you know who Opus is because Jess didn't know and no one that I have asked so far has known who Opus is. So you let me know. But he is vintage. He's from 1986. That was a really good year, by the way. But he has a little Santa's hat on and he's gonna go to the booth, I think. And then I got a Neopets. Shout out to all you millennials who played Neopets because I definitely was one of them. This one's not super vintage. This one's from 2007. Um, and I can't remember what this one is called, but yeah, pick him up. Might be a booth item as well. And then I have a couple of Squishmallows. I had four of them and then my daughter claimed one. Uh, it was the same size as these. It might have came in a set. Sometimes this size one comes in a set of a few, um, but she took the elephant one because the elephant one was really cute. So we have a little pug. And Jess found all of these. <clears throat> Puberty found all of these, by the way, and gave them to me. So we have the pug one, and then we have this little kitty one, and then we have the fox, and the elephant is no longer. So that's my haul, guys. Um, a little bit longer of a haul than I've been doing for the last little while. Um, but I'm really happy with everything that I got, especially since I already made $133 sale out of these items. And I still have quite a bit to list and therefore quite a bit to sell. So definitely my best bins day. I don't usually get this high quality of items. I have been to the bins before, especially when I first started going there and came home with like 90 pounds of stuff. So I've definitely gotten more quantity at the bins, but quality wise, this is definitely the best trip I've ever had. Um, so I am glad that I put those double knee car hearts back because I got stuff that's way more valuable, at least in my opinion. So can't go wrong, I guess. And especially so at the bins where you're paying about a dollar or so per item. So let me know what you thought in the comments down below as always, or maybe let me know what your favorite item was. Like I said, tell me if you know who the hell Opus is um, so I don't feel like I'm really old. <laughs> but that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.